Okay guys, so now I'm gonna answer questions which I've been getting a lot of with regards to this kit and the exhaust that's on it and everything. So let's just remove the body shell for a second. A lot of people have been telling me that this is not a two-speed and it's just a single speed and I'm just pulling the trigger to make it seem like it's a two-speed. No, it's actually got a gear system in and it's right over here. This is an optional two-speed system for this uh, MCD XR5 Max Pro because this is a longer wheelbase rallycross version. Uh, I've made it, it's fully waterproof. I've made it fully waterproof, waterproof servos. It's got an optional waterproof uh, air filter in there. So it doesn't take in a lot of water into the engine. Um, and the exhaust, a lot of people have been asking me about the polished and burnt tip exhaust, how it's done. It's actually modified. It's a custom exhaust pipe uh, by me. Uh, I use stainless steel, modified stainless steel, bent in a specific curve because you don't want to lose power from this exhaust system it does the job because it's a quick it's not a really long pipe uh, stainless steel silicone tubes and worm clamps along with um, uh, silicone that's heat resistant which is mainly used for cars and race cars so i incorporated it here and it works amazing i've had this thing for about a year and a half now the exhaust never had any issues and it just looks unbelievably realistic when driving uh, especially with the roll cage in here and all that and the suspension works amazing when you see how it handles the road bumps um, It's just lovely. So yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about it and just mention that it's uh, It is actually a two-speed gearbox as you can see. It's not something that I'm just messing around with uh, throttle wise uh, It's got an rpm gauge. It's got a lot of sensors my remote uh, not this remote, but the other remote that I have, the Sanwa, gives me telemetry. So it gives me throttle position, steering position. Um, you can even set these things to have ABS. I don't like ABS on these things. I like them um, like with everything off, no assists. So, yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm going to give it a quick start uh, right now. Just to kind of give you an idea. There is no choke on this thing. This is a very highly tuned uh, motor by uh, OBR, O'Neill Brothers Racing. Uh, this thing alone actually cost almost a thousand dollars because it's not tuned. It's got a stroker, it's got a lot of, it's ported. It's uh, also not tuned to work with regular 95 fuel. It's work, it's, it's made to work with uh, basically race fuel, the same fuel that operates this race car, operates this RC car. So it works only on 100 octane ethanol free race fuel and i always recommend to guys that run fifth scale and tiny little engines always go with ethanol free fuels because they just preserve the engine keeps it clean and basically just prolongs the life of small engines and these things are kind of high compression so yeah let's give it a start planning to do a two-speed for the low C because this is also a monster but this is more of an off-road beast that's more versatile for on-road and off-road and yeah I do love fifth scale because the realism and the fact that you get disc brakes um, under the wheels and all that stuff is just amazing so um, yeah 
So for more videos like this guys follow my channel uh, carbon element and any comments would be appreciated any feedback would be appreciated anything you want to see you let me know and i'll try to get my hands on it so yeah my channel is basically a car and rc car channel i love my rc cars these things are not going away so yep <laughs> So funny. I love this little thing. If it was still 95 octane instead of 100 octane, I'd actually top it off here in the gas station. But it's not. This thing now runs on race fuel, so I don't want to confuse it with using 95 octane or technically 93 here in the US. <laughs> 